Hey guys, CV Super. I wanted to go over something today. It's, it's a node that isn't uh, probably well known or used a whole lot. It's called the TV node. It allows you to do a couple different interesting things. I made just this really quick title screen here, basically where it's just, I'm using the TV node to do a couple different things. But let's go ahead and jump into it so we can kind of show you what exactly we got going on here. Um, regular Fusion Comp, there's nothing in it. We're gonna go ahead and build this from scratch. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in some fast noise and I'm going to use this fast noise to create that squiggly line that you that you saw. Uh, now you guys have probably seen some of my other videos where I show you how to use fast noise to either make water or um, to use to make like a shock wave effect. Uh, I'm just going to use it for yet another thing that is pretty interesting. This this node is just extremely powerful, as you can see. Uh, but if you want to watch those other videos, the links are up in the right-hand corner. So first thing I'm going to do before I do anything is I'm going to come over here, and again, I'm going to change this, the type from two-color to gradient and from uni to linear. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my endpoint and bring in my start point to make another line. Actually, before I even do that, i got to jump back over here real quick. Over here on the image tab, we actually need to change this from 1920. We're going to change it to 1920 by 1920. Actually, I got to click off this auto resolution. There we go. 1920 by 1920. What that's going to do is that's going to create a square. And we want a square because we're going to have to rotate this a couple times. Uh, I'll show you what I mean here in a few minutes. Go back over to the gradient. We've changed this. Take these, uh, just make everything black for now and then click another point in the center to make it white and you'll see that now we get kind of this squiggly line. I'm going to take these uh, the black points and I'm going to turn the alpha all the way down. You can either do it here at the very bottom of the alpha slider or you over on the right here. Uh, actually, let's make sure it's on black. We can bring it up there. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a white line in the center and we can compress this a little bit. but. We're going to be better off actually compressing it this way. Uh, now what we've done is we've just created this nice thin line. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn up some seethe. So now when I actually first thing, let's go ahead into playback. I'm going to go to proxy mode, I'm going to trim and quarter. Make sure high quality is turned off. Now when I play it back, it should move pretty fast. Okay, so that's my line. Um, so while it's playing, I can actually change some things up. Maybe I can scale it up a little bit just to get a little bit more um, variation. I could turn the seed rate up. It's going to make it faster. Could give it a little detail. It's going to make it a little bit more wiggly. And contrast up. Okay. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. And I'm going to move on to the next part. So one note that I've kind of been playing around with lately is the TV node. So if you just shift space, type in TV, it's going to pop up this TV node. Now the TV node by itself doesn't really do anything. You actually have to plug in something as an input. So we're going to plug this fast noise in as in the input. And you notice it gives us some, uh, some noise. So it does have its own noise generator. I usually don't use the noise too much, um, but there's another function that's really cool that I like. And that's that it creates these scan lines. And so whatever you plug in, it's going to create scan lines on that object. So we only plugged in this line and the rest of this is, is all alpha or transparency. So if we come over to the power, this is the noise generator. We turn the power all the way down. It's going to get rid of all of that side noise. And now we have these, uh, these scan lines. But I actually don't want the scan lines going horizontal. I want them vertical. Um, and I don't see an option for that. These horizontal and verticals, those do something different. They actually move your object uh, um, like vertical and horizontal in your uh, your frame, which isn't what we're going for. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually in between these, I'm going to type in XF. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to, in the angle, type in 90. And all that's going to do is that's going to, you know, rotate that 90 degrees. Um, and that's why we had to uh, make it a square versus just a 1080 by 1920 comp where it would now be, you know, it would look incorrect. Um, so now that we have it vertical, I'm actually going to type in XF again, and you probably figured it out. I'm going to go back into the angle. I'm going to type in negative 90. And now what we've done is we've just round tripped it. So we, so we turned it sideways so that we could get these lines vertical. Cause that's what I'm going for. If you want the horizontal lines, by all means, just you don't have to transform it, you don't have to move it. You could also come into the fast noise and you could have just made this line vertical if you wanted to, 
really it's the same thing. You're gonna have to rotate it at some point. Um, all right, so now that we have it this way, um, we have this kind of cool like digitized line. And that this is one of the main reasons I started using this node for things was I really liked that I was able to get these uh, these scan lines and it's pretty much free. You know, um, you can come in here, you can add more lines, you can, uh, you can play with this to get, to, you know, to kind of separate them a little bit. It gives it kind of like a dot look. It's pretty cool. There's also other things that this uh, node can do, but for this particular um, line, this is all that it's going to do for now. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this after the transform node and I'm just going to add a glow effect to it. Now this is my own personal glow. It will be coming out soon. It's not out now, but you can use any glow um, to do a very similar effect. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're just adding a glow to it. Um, but I'm also going to turn up this screen glow. Now mine has a screen glow built in. You can use something else. You could uh, basically just use, let me show you how to do that really quickly. So what you could do to get a similar effect is you could just come in here could do this you could plug this and merge this in you could screen this on and blend this down and you would get a very similar effect um, and then you could also just add glow to the actual uh, line here and then now you're basically working with the same thing that I have the only difference is uh, mine's just built into this so all right so here we are we have the screen glow and now we're actually going to come in here and we're, we're going to add a background. So we added a background and I'm actually going to throw this background up here. Now let's go ahead and bring in a text node, CB Super. This is my font. Let's see what this looks like. Size it up. Now you notice I'm in low quality mode, so this might not look quite as good, but that's so it'll run fast on my, uh, my calculator that I'm working on. Okay, so for the next part of this comp, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this by hitting V. It gets rid of that little screen over there. Um, I'm actually going to bring in another background node. I'm going to also shift space, type in TV, bring in another TV node, plug this in, because again, remember, this needs something to drive it on the input. So I'm going to use this black background, and let's go into the TV node, and let's create that background that we had. So if I press spacebar here to preview, you'll notice you don't see anything taking place here. Um, we can turn up the scan lines a little bit here. We can also come over here to the power section because now we do want some of that noise. And if you move this uh, random, you'll see that it, it actually moves the noise. It, it randomizes, it pushes it around. You can also scale this noise up if you want it to be like more blocky or almost like pixelated. Now you'll see that it's it's really crazy, really chaotic. I'm gonna leave it all the way down just to have that like white staticky noise. I'm gonna double click in here and hit the hit the equal sign and then press enter. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna drop down this little expression window. And in order to drive this, I just want it to move on its own when the time's moving. So I'm just gonna type in time asterisk for the for times. Um, we'll just do 0 0.05. That might be a little fast. We'll see what it looks like. No, it looks pretty good. So now it's moving on its own whenever um, it's previewing or playing. Um, there's also this bar that uh, can move through your footage. So I'm going to turn the bar strength all the way up to 1. And when I move this, you'll see that there is a bar. It's not like super visible, but you definitely will notice it. That bar is going to be moving along. And in order to have it move, we're just going to need to add another expression. Equal sign, enter. And we can just do the same, just time times 0 0.05. All right, and now it's gonna move pretty fast. Uh, maybe that's a little too fast. Maybe we'll add in another zero. Ah, that's a little too slow. Okay, and that's pretty good. And you can set it for whatever time you want for whatever project you're working on. This is just something I was kind of playing on. I wanted to show you guys this TV node because uh, I thought it was kind of neat. You could do some neat things with it. Now we have our background. This text is actually just going to be a mask, so we'll just leave it over here for now. I'm going to bring in another background node, and I'm going to uh, put this on top of this one to merge it. And now you'll see it's just merged as noise, so it's a little bit darker. Let's go ahead and move this over to the side here. 
since these all come into this merge node, we're actually going to push this over here a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and bring in another merge node. Um, I'm going to plug in our background in as the background. Ground, and I'm going to bring all of this stuff over to the left here that we built. That will be our foreground. Now, you'll notice that all you see is the foreground and you see no background. But what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take this text that we built and we're going to use this as the mask. Um, and the way that we have this set up, um, by default, it's going to be over. By default, if, um, if you're not getting this, if it doesn't look correct for you, uh, you may have to come into this and change it from normal to in. But usually it'll, it'll look correct. And that's pretty much it. Now you'll see that we have uh, this neat little squiggly line in the back that's kind of digitized using the, uh, the TV node. And we also are using the, another TV node just to drive some, some static uh, on the outside here for the background. So, you know, I mean, we went over a couple different things, you know, how to build this uh, squiggly line using the fast noise, um, how to use a TV node. And if the lines aren't, the scan lines, if you want them vertical, you know, all you have to do is, uh, you know, rotate and then you can re-rotate again uh, to get them the way that you like. And of course, we, these could also be going off in uh, different directions. We used some glow effects. Um, we merged it all together. And then uh, we created a background using you know, a couple different backgrounds and using the TV to drive some more noise. We used a text as a mask in order to have uh, a couple different pieces of footage all m melding together, right? And uh, and that's pretty much it. I thought that was uh, just something kind of neat, the TV node. I don't see it being pushed a lot. Um, you could obviously use this for a bunch of different things, say if we wanted to bring in some footage. Of course, we could use this TV node um, just to, you know, make some kind of like retro looking footage if we wanted to. Right, and now we've got some, uh, you know, some TV that I grew up with. Uh, and of course you could turn that down just by uh, coming into the merge and you can blend that down if, if it's a little bit too much. Uh, but, you know, the TV node is interesting. Uh, I don't really use it for um, degrading footage or adding noise to footage. I usually use it uh, just for doing things like this scan line. Um, if you guys know another way to do this, you know, I'd, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. If you guys have any tips on, you know, how we could have done this maybe a different way, you know, I, again, I, I learned just as much from you guys as you guys probably learned from me. So uh, anyways, appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope you guys got something out of it. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.